Okay, so I have my presentation and now I need to actually start coding it so that when I click the buttons they actually start to check answers I've put in. So in this top box here, I'm going to have my answer and the bottom one is going to be clicked and it will then check whether that answer is the correct one or not. So I need to access the coding screen and I do that by double clicking on the button. Now what I'm going to try and do is we'll add the code in line by line and as we do that I will try and explain what each line represents. So I'm going to start off by adding an if statement. So the first thing I type would be if what I'm doing here is I'm asking the computer a question. So if textbox one, uh, textbox one, which is the name that we saw earlier, uh, dot value is equal to three, then so what this line does is it's just asking the computer to look at the value in that text box, and if someone has typed a three in there, then we want it to do the following steps. Okay, so value is the important bit there. Remember, there's a full stop between it and we've used the name. So we're going to have a couple of things that come next. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to display a little message on screen to tell the person that they have got the answer correct. So we just do that with message box and then whatever we want inside the message box we put in speech marks. Now obviously if they've got the question right then we want to go on to the next question. We don't want to wait or anything else. So this next line here will take you on to the next slide. Now it looks a little more confusing than some of the others but you can see at the start it says slideshow so it's a command telling the slideshow that we want it to do something and you can see the word at the end says next so it's telling the slideshow go to the next slide. So that's fine if the person has typed three into the text box and has clicked the button it will then tell them correct well done and it will move them on to the next slide. Well now we need to do things if that's not true. So we've said if that's true do this. Now we're going to add an else and say if that's not true we want you to do the following thing. So in this case we want a message box to tell them that they didn't get the question right. And this time we're not going to add anything uh, about the slideshow because if they've got the question wrong we want them to stay on this slide. We don't want them to be able to move on to the next slide until they've got the answer right. So the only thing we need to do is as we've got an if at the top we just need to put an end if at the bottom. So there is our code. It starts off with an if and says if someone has typed a three in the box then say correct well done and move to the next slide and if they haven't then tell them they got the answer wrong and to try it again. So let's run this presentation now and just have a look at how that is working. So in this top box here I'm going to put an answer and I'm going to deliberately choose a wrong answer. I'm going to put two and I'm going to click check my answer. And as you can see there's the message box. That's what it displays. A little window with your code uh, and the text you want with an OK button. So let's try that again. Let's do a four. And again the same box comes up. It's checking each time. It's rechecking that answer. Let's do the right answer. Three. Check my answer. And you see now we get the different box because it's actually found the correct answer. We click OK and it will take us to the next slide. So that's one question done. That's how we do a text box and a command button that checks. This one is slightly different because we have three possible things that need to be checked. We've got a three, a four and a five. So hopefully you can see that there are four dogs on there. So the only thing we need to do is we just need to check the name of the correct answer. We can ignore the other two. We don't need to worry about them at all. Just the correct one. So then you see here the name is option button 2 and that's for the number 4. So we double click on the command button and once again we're going to add our code in. Now the code for this check is almost exactly the same as the code for the previous check. There is only one slight difference and it's in this first line. In the first button we were looking at a text box. This time we're looking at an option button. And all we're doing here is we're asking the computer to have a look at option button 2. That's the one that we've said represents the number 4. We just ask it to have a look at option button 2 and check the value. And the minus 1 means that that one has been selected. 
So we're not looking for a minus one, we're just asking the computer, has someone selected option button two before they click this button? And again, we can put exactly the same code, message box, that's correct, well done. And you see again, exactly the same line, slideshow windows with a one in the bracket, view.next, we are going to tell them they've done it right and go to the next slide. And again, the latter part is exactly the same as before, else a message box telling them, uh, nice try, but you need to do better. And because we wanna keep the same format, we're just gonna show the message box and they will have to try and get the answer right again. And we finish, of course, with an end if. So exactly the same piece of code. Nothing is uh, radically different. It's only the top bits, that one line at the top. We're just looking for a different thing. Everything else is exactly the same. So it's just the option button too. So what we'll do is we'll have a quick look at how that works. But we'll hopefully see that it actually does exactly the same thing as before. So we we'll want to quiz we'll get to uh, the first question and we'll just quickly get that question right we know the answer is three so we can just check my answer that button's still working fine correct well done okay and we're on to our question here so when I try and check my answer with three I get sorry that's not right I do the same with five and because it's only looking for option two so each time I do something else it's not the right answer I select option two I go to check my answer and because it's the right one, I get my correct message. And when I click OK, it will take me to that last slide, which is the one congratulating me for finishing the quiz. So what we have there are three slides instead of nine or 12. We have code that checks the answers. And we've got two different styles of question. And what I'll do is I'll just leave this up at the end if anyone wants to make notes.